She's so random. Like, whatever she's saying right now, just imagine in her mouth. That's it. That's it. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Am I, am I crazy for saying that? Am I getting canceled for that? So, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Happy Reactions, and I'm back today with another reaction today. We are going to be, we're going to react to Gianna Dior on what it's like working with the biggest BBC in the world. If you do not know, BBC is a channel on the British, I think it's British something channel. Uh, Gianna Dior is a P star, as you don't know, corn star. I don't know how else to abbreviate that, but, uh, she going to say what it's like working on, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, guys, sir, let this video serve as a reminder. I've not gotten to it yet, but let this video serve as a reminder to, to stay in your daughter's lives. You know, to be there for them at every waking moment because you know this is this is somehow th this is the outcome if you're not there. Hey man, before we get to the video, I'm gonna need y'all to do three things. I hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications, and hit the like button. Let's do this. Let's get to the video. What the fuck is wrong with me? So cringy, so fucking cringe. I off camera, but I do like. I go in little phases. I call them two week relationships where I just like fuck a guy mm. for two weeks and then I'm bored and then I'm. Two week relationships is crazy. What? A two week I was fucking guy that I'm bored? You kidding me? Guys, let this um I we're not even ten seconds in the video. Let this serve as a reminder to stay in your daughter's life, please, God. Please. Please, uh because of the guy or just because this like the situation? Situation. You're just like, oh, AKA because of the guy, because I'm bored. She just said it. She just said it. She literally just said, it. like, bro, I don't even, I don't watch none of her videos. Of course, I do. I would never watch any of her videos. You know, I, I would never, I, w I would never watch any of her videos. But I'm just saying, like, bro, how is she, oh my goodness, how is she functioning? Yeah, because usually, like, two weeks, they, like, kind of start wanting to date. I'm just, oh, so you're just you're missing. Bro, she's so ran through. You can't take her seriously, bro. She's so ran through. Like whatever she's saying right now, just imagine dick in her mouth. That's it. That's it. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Am I am I crazy for saying that? Am I getting canceled for that? And that's is that ever on the table? Are you ever like thinking hmm, maybe I could date this guy? Yeah, I've considered it, but then I'm like, mm, do I really want to? When's the last time you had a boyfriend? 2020. Okay, two years Pandemic ago. Pandemic boyfriend? Pandemic boyfriend. A lot, lot of porn stars got those. Yeah. Yeah? A lot we, of porn stars spent like six months in a relationship, you know? We, we ran got quarantine together. Together? So, yeah, this dude lived in New York, and he, like, couldn't go back to New York at the time. Like, he couldn't go back. <laughs> Damn. So he was just, like, stuck with me. I'll wife you up. Yeah, basically. Wow. That's kind of fire. Yeah, it was fun while it lasted. I mean, at least you let him stay with you? Yeah. At least you let him stay with you. What if you... That's fire, though. That's fire, though. Corn stars, you know what I'm saying? They know what they're doing. They, hey, their expertise, you know what I'm saying? They, they are kind of, they are the cock kind of swords, bro. Like, they know, they know. Wait, bro, you cock. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if I can say it. Hopefully, they don't get yellow marked. But, hey, man. They, they are the cock kind of swords, bro. They are. They are. Whee! He wants to have the time of his life in those six months, bro. No, he's, he's thinking, he's thinking the Lord, Allah, Jesus, his rabbi. He's thinking everybody. They, thank God I was stuck here. Thank God. Thank you. Everybody, bro. That's crazy. Six months. Oh, man. She said it was fun while it lasted. I feel like that's all you're going to get with these corn stars, bro. That's all you're going to get. That's all you're going to get is fun time. Because listen to the way she talks. Oh, I had to, I just consider dating him, but I was like, is that what I really want? She has commitment issues. She is. She has, she has self esteem issues. She has a lot of stuff. She has a lot of things going on wrong. A lot of things going wrong. And you know what that stems with? It stems with, you know, fathers. You know what I'm saying? Let this video, watch this video. For any for any fathers out there, you know, watch this video. Uh, play the, We need to play this in schools. This video right here, you know. Play this in schools and let it serve to the future generations to be there for their daughters. Because ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Father's in her life, bro. And if he was, he did a bad job. That's it. He didn't have anywhere to stay. Yeah. It was more of like, okay, well, I'm quarantined and like, I need dick. Mm. I need somebody to hang out with. This is like a classic porn interview question that I feel like a lot of guys always want to know the answer to is, is it hard 
to date a guy with a regular sized dick or even a small dick after you've been banged by porn stars with gigantic 13 inch dicks i think fucking guys with huge dicks is not yeah. very it's not comfortable right it's not like pleasurable the guys with the top tier interesting that's interesting so they're faking it. They're faking it, guys! They're faking it! <laughs> My life is a lie! My life is a lie, bro. Are you kidding me? I knew it was fake! Roll it, roll in that soul Illuminati clip. I knew it was fake! I knew it! I knew it! So don't I... Oh, are kind of like cursed. Yeah, and it's kind of more of like a look what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> this is a party like, trick I got going yeah. on here. Yeah, it's more of like for the scene, I just want it to look good. Yeah. But it's definitely not practical. So the 13 inch dick guys are not going to be your boyfriend. You couldn't handle it no. long term? No. I actually kind of feel bad for those guys because I'm like, who are you fucking Oh, you feel bad for this work? guy with this huge dick. Oh, man. Life is so hard. Oh, I'm rich, <laughs> fuck hot girls my all day. Porn contract. Oh, so bad. So oh, my yeah, God. Like, you kind of have to do porn if you have a dick that big. <laughs> no, you can I'm go be a gonna... lawyer and just not <laughs> take your pants off. Yeah, and just have. Guys, let this serve as a reminder to, uh, let this serve to a reminder to your daughters because how did that just automatically go, like, there's a, there's a lot of big big guys out there. There's a lot of big uh D guys out there that um don't do porn that we just don't know about, bro. Like you really think that you have to do porn like just because you got big pee pee? Just because you got big cha cha, big booty, you think you have to do porn? Like that's not That's that's where her brain is at right now, guys. Think about that. That's where her brain is at right now. And that's kinda of like ridiculous to say that. It's, it's really ridiculous for her to say that, bro. And your dick just Yeah, but who's gonna fuck you? Like, only porn stars are going to fuck you. If so, if That's I was a true. real girl, if I was, like, a normal... A real girl? Girl? If she was a real... No, let the service or my... No, seriously, yo. If I was a real girl, like, she's probably not going to go crazy. She's probably not going to put the whole John John up there. She's probably not going to fit the whole sausage up here. Just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, ain't probably going to let it... Let it chill out. Like, in the scene, John... Hey, you got to click on this video. Y'all know. Y'all know them scenes get a little rowdy, man. Those scenes get crazy. Maybe hopping, going at the speed of light. You know, you know what I'm saying? Riding at y'all. So, like, let's be let's be honest for two seconds. She ain't gonna be going crazy like that. She gonna be letting that y'all ease into it. You feel me? You ain't gonna be. There's none of that easing into none of that in, 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 the, in these scenes. In these scenes. So, if I was a real girl, no, but I was watching. That is crazy. Dread, and he was saying that before he became a porn star, he was just like porn. a sex party guy, and he was doing weird really? couple shit where he would like get flown out and just be like hooking up with some couple together. Like he was already doing some sexual shit, which I guess you would be kind of led in that direction if you did have one of the biggest penises in the world. Yeah. In the world. But if I was hooking up with Dread and he pulled that out, I would leave. Like, that's something you have to, like, know what be you're prepared for. Do. Yeah, be prepared for that. Yeah. I've had friends over the years who had dicks that were realistically way smaller than his that told me that, like, How do you know that? every... Because we were just talking about it because we're, we're he, gay and white. He but, wants to... Listen, all the homies, if you can't have a serious gay discussion with your homie, is it really your homie, though? Is it really? Think about it, though. Is it really your homie? I fucking see all his no, friends. I had friends who, realistically, their dick probably more like 10 inches. And they would talk about how... Elevate, elevate. Because this is when we were young, like 18, 19. And it's like, a lot of girls are just not going to handle that. It's like, you know, he's, he described it like he was doing fucking surgery every time he would <laughs> fuck a new girl. You got to just ease your way into it, right? Yeah. That's what yeah. you said. When you're young, you, you don't know that. how to ease your way in. You can't just like... Right. You, you can't just to, like, dive into it. it. Hey, you can't. With great power comes great responsibility. This nigga just put... <laughs> 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 hey... Hope you enjoyed this video. Elevate, 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 elevate. Hey, man. That was, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let this video serve as a reminder. All fathers out there, future fathers out there, present fathers out there, past fathers out there, let this video serve as a reminder that be in your daughter's life. Be honest, peace. Thanks for watching. Bye. Let me know if you like the video or not. All right, you know what I'm saying? Doing that good stuff.